Apparently there's a vehicle parked down here at the dead end. The caller says there's two people inside of it. It is close to a public trail, so not really an odd spot for a car to be parked, but if there's people in it and not moving, then it kind of is. 654 amount. Oh, slightly high. Hi. Hello. What's going on? Just chilling. Just chilling? Okay. Do you know where you're at? Okay, how much you had to smoke today? What do you mean? How much marijuana have you smoked? Me, personally? No, him. I'm talking to you. I'd say about just a joint. Okay, how long ago was that? 20 minutes. Okay, did you guys smoke it all already? Okay, you hop out of the car for me. Fifty-four thirty-three. Do you want to come over here? All right, man. Do you have any? Got anything illegal on you? Don't reach. Okay. I'm just asking you a question. Okay. No, no drugs or anything. Not on me. All right. Turn around for me. Put your hands on top of the car. Keep your hands up for me, okay, ma'am? Do you see that your car is still smoking actively? Yeah. Were you guys hot boxing or what? Okay. How long have you been here? I'd say 30 minutes. Caller said they've been here for over two hours. There was still smoke coming out of the car. Yeah, people parked out here, usually they're smoking or poking, so. And when I turned my light on to you, I immediately knew it was smoking. I'm sure you've seen some memes online about high people and you looked exactly like them. <laughs> if I had a camera. Thank you. Yeah, front page of Reddit for sure. So they said they smoked it all, but clearly they did not. All right, so you told me you smoked it all. What about the uh, eight grams in the bag that was sitting in the center console? More or less forgetting about it. So you just forget about eight grams? Is it because you're so high that you forgot or? Okay. Here's our next dilemma. How are we getting home? Do you have a phone you can call people? Yeah. Because that car's getting towed, and I'm not gonna leave it here because then you'll walk back and drive it high. The female was let go because she didn't claim possession of any of it. Uh, the male was issued a citation and released on scene. This vehicle in front of us has plates on it that don't belong to it. It's a white Ford Mustang, Missouri Paul George 5. Hello, Hello Deputy Rudder Human Sheriff's Office. I stopped you because your plates checked to a Chevy. Yeah, uh, I took them off uh, I, my Heather car. I, okay, let me be honest with you. I got it out of Buddy's Automotive. I just had to drive, I drove up here. I just left Green County, uh, the jail, because my fiance's in there. She turned herself in yesterday. She needs medical attention, and I can't, she, no one will give her medical attention. I've called 911. I just got off the phone with the marshal, and I'm, I'm scared for her, and I don't know what to do about it. Okay, you have some ID on you? Once I made contact with the driver, he told me that he actually took the license plates off of the vehicle at a local salvage yard. Um, we're trying to check into that right now. It looks like he may also have a municipal warrant as well, so we're looking that up too. All right, man, do me a favor. I need you to step out of the car for me. Do what? I'm going to talk to you about it. Uh, honestly, I mean, what did 
I do wrong. Well, Man, you have a listen, warrant. Listen, I didn't do nothing. You have a warrant. Are you okay? Six twenty nine, he hit both of us with his car. First stop, let me go stop. Forty four, can you still see him? stable he took off in his car it's a white ford cobra mustang we're still eastbound on chestnut we're approaching national now We I tried to stop him, but... didn't have time. I tried to stop him, too. My ass hurts so bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I tried to yeah. jump in there freaking with him, but he just, he took right off and, yeah. Well, I was in the car with him first, trying to get the keys out of the ignition, and he took off and dumped me out of the car, and he killed it, because it's a, it's a manual. Yeah. So she jumped in the car, and he took off and dumped her out of the car. Yeah. Because of traffic, we weren't able to catch up to him. Unfortunately, we'll submit charges on him, but for right now, we're not sure where he's at. Got a domestic assault, came out in one of our uh, notorious trailer parks. Apparently, a guy's girlfriend punched him in the head. Uh, they are separated. She's possibly intoxicated, according to the call note. She's wandering around either outside or in the house or the trailer or so. This could be interesting. Hello, sir. Hey. What's happening? Oh, my life, kitty. <laughs> no, but for real. She's drunk. She's steady assaulting me, punching me in the face. I, I told her mom yesterday I stay with her and her mom. Uh, okay. That she's been punching me in the face or something, but ain't nobody been doing nothing about it. I, okay. I'm not punching you yet. She's lying. I poked you. She's been, she been assaulting me. I poked you. Me. All right, man. Where'd she hit you today? In the, in the head. Where at? Like a specific area? Missouri. In your nose? Yeah, I was laying on the bed and she was like, where's my, where's the lighter? Help me find the lighter. And reached back and cocked me. Okay. So I had to defend myself. I, I snapped. Okay. Don't, don't touch me, but how'd you poke no, him? I just like poked him. I, it's not where like I went and where? in his arm. Did you poke him with your finger? Yeah. Okay. How many times did you poke him? About three or four. Three or four. Why? Why did you poke him? Cause I'm mad at him. So you're mad at him, so you poked him? Uh -uh. Okay. What are you mad at him about? Uh, Cause he's an idiot. Okay. Why is he an idiot? Oh, oh he's an idiot. Do you want to press charges against her? Will she go to jail? Go press charges? Yeah. I don't, don't want to go. She got a job. Oh, oh, never mind. I just want to be made it known that. She's been hitting me and stuff. Then she do it again, then I press charge. I know she's gonna do it again because she's been drinking. She got two 30 cases right by the bed. Sorry, can you get a light? We don't, we don't smoke. Oh, you don't? Nope. You guys are losers. <laughs> no, we're just making the smart choice and not smoking. So, smoking's bad for you. Has anybody got a lighter? I don't have one, man. I don't smoke, it's a nasty habit. Yeah. I'm trying to quit. It is a nasty habit. <laughs> Smell the intoxicants coming off her. She's slurring her speech real bad. Uh, so we're just gonna try to PBT her, make sure she's not too high, make sure she doesn't need any kind of medical attention for being intoxicated. Do you have anything in your mouth? Um, my tongue. Well, other than your tongue, do you have anything <laughs> in your mouth? Okay. All you do is take a deep breath in for me. Deep breath in like this. <sighs> Till I tell you to stop, okay? Right. Deep breath in. I suck, I don't blow. <laughs> take, take a deep breath in. Blow out and tell you, tell you, stop. Deep breath in and blow out. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. 
Keep going. Okay. Okay. Ma'am. Ma'am, you just <laughs> you just blew a three one two. Uh oh, what's that? I means you're <laughs> really, okay. really can drunk. I just, can I just go in? Do you need do you need medical to come check you out or anything no. like that? No. I'm just checking, so I didn't I, see. I'm not driving. So. Okay. I just want to make sure, like I said, I'm just making sure you're you're okay and you don't need any kind of medical attention. Oh no. no. All, all right. I'm okay. okay. Yep. Thank you. All right, Thank you guys. Put me on that. All right. Hey. Have a good night. Thank you. Silver Toyota Camry, no plates. We're gonna stop this car. He's sitting right in the middle of the intersection. No plates on the vehicle. They're still creeping through the intersection now. I don't know what the story is here. Hi there. Hey, can you roll your window down? Okay, does it not roll down? Okay, I'm Deputy Haynes with the Sheriff's Office. Reason I stopped you is there's no plates on your car, and then when I got behind you back here, you're like right in the middle of the intersection. Um, yeah, I was edging forward because sometimes that works when I'm waiting on a light. I gotcha. Uh, yeah, there's no tires on my car because I just bought the car. Okay. Keep being stopped, like it's their time to stop it. But you have no plates on your car. But yeah, I know. Okay, can I have you step out and talk to me real quick? Guns, knives, weapons, drugs, bazookas, anything like that in the car. Did you just ask me if there was a bazooka in my car? Yeah, no. I, I've seen a bazooka in a car. So, you don't have any drugs or anything in the car? No. Okay, do you have a problem with me checking? Yeah, because you don't okay. have any reason to search, Steve, because there's nothing in the car. That's why, I'm at, that's why I'm asking you. Oh, yeah, no. Okay, take your hands out of your pockets. Sorry. That's why I'm asking you, oh, yeah. is to figure out if there's anything going on. No, there's nothing in the car. Okay. But there's... Okay, hang tight here at the back of the car for just a second. They seem like just some young kids that are out in a vehicle that he says he just bought. He's got a bill of sale that shows that he did just buy it. Bought that thing for 500 bucks. It's got 400,000 miles on it, though. If, if you smoked marijuana a couple hours ago, that could be an issue, too, with you driving a vehicle. I mean, I got behind you in the intersection, and you're right in the middle of the intersection, kind of bouncing through the intersection. Yeah, I told you I'm trying to make the light go. No, and I understand that, but for us it looks kind of weird too. Yeah, yeah, and the sensors are behind the white line. So if you're in the intersection, you're not doing anything by bouncing out there. So hang tight for just a second. We're still working on some stuff. We'll have you an answer for you shortly. I've got a DWI unit on the way. He was dodgy with questions. He was evasive with what we were asking him and admitted to smoking marijuana about an hour or two prior. Simply gonna count out loud 1001, 1002. Go ahead. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. Go ahead, turn around for me. You are under arrest for driving while intoxicated. Are you serious? I am serious. Why? Do you have anything on you that's going to poke me or stick me? Find out yourself. Someone want to deal with that? Find out yourself. Find out myself. That's a great answer, man. So he's going to go to jail tonight for DWI, and we're going to tow his car and get that off the road. Number one, don't smoke marijuana in Missouri. Number two, if you're going to smoke marijuana, certainly don't drive a car. License plate is two, King Adam, nine, occupied twice. So we received a call um, from a, leaving the scene of an accident. This truck had struck uh, two vehicles. We got around behind it and attempted to stop it. Chestnut. He's trying to turn east on Chestnut. We've got traffic, so he's stopped. Traffic is cleared. He is eastbound. Chestnut passing the Dollar General. High rate of speed, turning into the Dollar General parking lot. Check out the dog, General. 07 to 33, plate 
contact stolen. Clear, he is through a yard, back on the road. We got no traffic south on Hilton. Struck multiple stop signs and three yards. 48, I'm waiting. He's trying to strike my vehicle. This was a dead end. He came back out. He turned south on Olive. I got it, 48. Let me go in front of you. I need you, eyes on him. You with me. Grant, take custody of him. Go, no, no, no. Only back to you. Stand, Stand up. up. Stay in the truck. Walk backwards. Martin, I got it. Walk backwards. Back, back, back. Stop. Three steps to your left. Your other left. Left, left. Stop. Back, back, back. Stop. Take him into custody. Down. Down. Passenger, don't reach. Keep your hands where we can see them. I can see your hands. Passenger, step out of the vehicle. Turn the face away. Walk backwards. Back, 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 back. Stop. Car's clear. Go. Unlock your car. What in the world? How many people are you going to put their lives in risk? Coming straight at my vehicle, coming straight at Deputy Weiss's vehicle, running through people's yards. You're right, man. I know I'm right. I wasn't asking you. I race on the racetrack, bud. There's no I don't look like it the way you're hitting curbs and other vehicles. You hit two vehicles for no reason at all. That's got nothing to do with raised on the racetrack. If you were raised on the racetrack, boy, you better stay off it. You can't drive. Uh, took him into custody. He's extremely intoxicated. The female passenger, more than likely, she's going to be released. Doesn't sound like she had anything to do with this. The vehicle did verify and come back stolen. Um, so he's going to be arrested for the first degree tampering on the stolen vehicle, the uh, resisting arrest for looting, uh, DWI, and then also uh, driving while revoked or suspended. We're gonna make a stop on this Toyota. I ran the plates and they're coming back to a Pontiac. We're gonna check out with the driver and find out why the license plates aren't matching back to his vehicle. How you doing, man? Deputy Connell with Sheriff's Office. The reason I pulled your registration to come back to a Pontiac. It's my sister's car. Uh, okay, who's the registration come back to? It is uh, my girlfriend's sister's brother's my sister's brother's dead sister. I have a... Okay, you gotta start over with that. Who does the car, the license plates belong to? It's my girlfriend's brother's dead sister. I have a Villa cell phone. Uh, I got screwed out of a... I got screwed out of a... Okay, who's the car belong to? 
I bought it from her. She gave me a bill of sale. Bought it from who? From my girlfriend's little brother's dad sister. Your girlfriend. I have a bill of sale right here. I mean, it's okay, let me see it. Do you have a license and insurance on you? Yes, I do. Okay, go ahead and step out for me real quick, man. Go ahead and put your hands on your back real quick. All right, anything besides the weed in the car? No. Okay, is there weed in the car? Yes, there is. Okay, the weed I just saw in the glove box? Yeah. Anything else besides the weed? No. All right. Is that what you're nervous about? Yeah. All right. Because you're kind of freaking out on me. Yeah, it's the weed. Huh? It's about the weed. It's about the weed? Yeah. Who, who does the car belong to? It did is. you buy it? Yes, I did. Where's your title at? I do not have it. She was supposed to file for a lost title, and then I text her and text her about it, and she won't get back to me. And okay, you text your girlfriend's? It's my girlfriend's little brother's dead sister. Okay. I still, to yeah. this point, don't really understand who the vehicle belongs to. All right. Yeah. Is that your roach on the seat, too? Yeah, All right. Hey, are you going to walk over here with me real quick? I've got to be at work. Okay. You think they want you coming in high? No. How old are you? I'm How long have you been smoking for? Eight years now. You started smoking weed when you were 12? All right, dude, so this is what's gonna happen with you, okay? I'm gonna take your weed. You're gonna get charged with it, but I'm gonna cut you loose. Are you willing to have somebody come get your vehicle? Okay. With him being cooperative, he's gotta be at work here in 20 minutes, so instead of making him lose his job, I'm gonna cut him loose and give him a court date. I don't think losing his job is what he needs tonight. He was able to prove ownership of the vehicle, and I advised him to get his registration updated with the Department of Revenue. Okay, sit here and wait for your mom to come, okay? Don't be driving around with weed anymore, all right? All right.